finally, last team in the Sun Belt. And that would be da, 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 the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks, who were atrociously bad last year. Went 0-10. Oh, um, Terry Bowden is the new head coach. That's right. And he brought in wily veteran offensive coordinator Rich Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh, uh, just a, a strange... Uh, strange pairing. The win total sits at one and a half. I was just about to say, can't get two. The over, plus 135. So they are fully expecting one win. And even that one win that is expected uh, is against Jackson State. I was just I was just about to say, are we positive they get that win? I don't think so. Because How, what Deion, do you think a number on that game would be if you had to set it right now? Primetime, Neon, Dion. Are, are we are we still a touchdown or no? I think it would be under a touchdown. I, I think, think so too. Jackson State is an underdog of five, hey, six yeah, points. Less than a touchdown, more than a field goal. Yes. That's what that's that's exactly what I would have. This game, which tells me, there's no doubt in my mind, Jackson uh, Jackson State could win that game. Analytically, there is not a single game on the schedule other than South Alabama that would be less than double digits. Yeah, I mean this is rough. It's gonna this it's gonna rough. it's gonna be a long road to hoe for Terry Bowden. He but listen, him and Rich Rod could completely reinvent invent themselves. Yes, at this school if they get them. I mean if they get this team. In four years to a bowl game, they they have got a couple of players that like can I say a couple, they've got a few players that can show some promise right. Well, that and they're gonna, and this is a team. Yeah, I, I assure you, Rich Rod is gonna hit the transfer portal for offense. Oh yes, yes, yes. Like uh, over now, the next two to three years, I see him. He knows the SEC. He knows the Big Twelve. He knows the Big Ten. He knows those areas. He's got no problems going in there and saying, uh, "You're not making it here." Come down to Louisiana Monroe, yeah. baby. Come down to Monroe. We'll we'll hook you up. Uh, I'll tell you this: he is going to utilize Perry Carter Jr., the wide yeah. receiver. Uh, well, yeah, very much. So. But that's his weapon. Yeah, that's, that's his. They've that's got. His they've, got oh, they've got. They've got. weapon. Pretty much. They got one bullet. Uh, their depth and raw talent at the bottom of the Sun Belt, uh, even with the transfers. Uh, although Tough. you know, like I said, there's a few players. Linebacker uh, Travion Webster. That's a name to watch out for. Um, it's a tough you know, schedule. They, as well. it, out of their ten losses last year. Nine of them were by eighteen points or more. Yeah, like, no, they that doesn't su- that doesn't surprise me. I, I they might be fourteen points this year, but I st- I still think they're double digits and yeah, they're not, it's not going to be close. It's not going to be pretty. No, you're you're right about that. Started with some bangers. We we finished with some some duds. You are correct about that. So. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.